Only losing two seniors from last year's roster, how do you feel going into a season with an experienced group? Yeah, I think this year is different than the past years where uh, last year we had a good group of guys returning, but we weren't overly experienced from a conference standpoint. And now this year we have four of our top five from a year ago that played in the conference tournament returning. Uh, our top returning conference tournament finisher was Taylor Thompson, who finished T13 last year. And so uh, we have a solid nucleus of guys. We feel more experienced. We feel like we're more ready to compete within the conference this year, but ultimately we're going to have to perform throughout the spring. And so uh, we're really excited about the group that we have and some of the young guys that have come along as well that can hopefully step into some positions and uh, you know continue to improve their game. So we're excited about what we can do this spring in, in the competition. In your fall season, you had three guys that shot about the 75, 76 average. What have you seen from their growth? Yeah, our, our fall season was also unique because Taylor Thompson's a fifth year and so he was at Warburg West this fall, so he ultimately didn't compete with our team this, this fall. And then Tucker Kinney on the football program, uh, or in the football program, obviously didn't compete with our program this fall either. So it was a good opportunity this, this, this fall for us to play some younger guys to get them some experience in the tournaments that we did play. And, uh, you know, our top three returning guys that did kind of compete with us there throughout the fall, obviously having Josh Nichols and uh, Nick Lechtenberg being a couple of guys there. And then Trevor White really, you know, had a nice fall for us as well. And then Jack Larson, Sam Jermeyer, both guys that were able to get some more experience and compete this fall. And so, you know, I think the ultimately for us, Getting a, getting a chance to clean up some of those things around the green and get better around the green with our short game uh, is going to really lead to us shooting some lower scores as a team. So excited, like we said, about the progress that those guys have made and what they did this fall as well. Uh, how are you able to build off your team performances in the fall that you were talking about to build momentum throughout the spring season? Yeah, well, hopefully good weather, first and foremost, so we can get outside and, and play. Uh, but, you know, from a, from a program standpoint, obviously working Tucker and Taylor back into things this spring. Uh, and, you know, from a team chemistry standpoint, it's really good. So we don't have any concerns about that. But ultimately for them to, to perform at a high level along with the guys that we have. And so that's going to enhance the competition in our program this spring, which we're, we're, we're excited about, can, can make us better for the conference championships here ultimately at the end of April. So uh, that's, that's the biggest thing for us just working those guys back into the mix and then you know finding out which guys have made the biggest improvements and which guys position themselves to you know take that next step to to perform in the conference tournament yeah uh, with six seniors on your roster this year how has that kind of helped shape the team culture going into the spring season well being very experienced i mean that's something that we have the luxury of being uh you know some of those guys uh are also also coming back for their fifth year, so that's going to be nice for us. It's it's that it's a unique time, you know, with the the COVID year being involved, and so we're seeing a little bit of the benefits now with our guys that are upperclassmen that were young on campus during that time, whereas some other teams in our league have seen that, uh, you know, maybe within the last couple of years with their kids being older in their program. So it is experience, you know, from a practice standpoint. Hopefully, we're organized. You know, we are very dil very diligent about what we're doing in practice. So I would say with experience and upperclassmen, that's the biggest thing from a practice standpoint. With your fall and spring season, do you have different goals for each segment or each individual or how do you approach that? Yeah, you know, our, our fall season is a little bit more laid back, I'd say. You know, we obviously have a chance to get some younger guys experience, especially this year with having the two guys out this fall that will be with us this spring. So getting more guys experience, getting them a chance to play in different competition against some of our conference schools. And then obviously the spring is we're more geared up towards our conference champion, so championships. So, you know, getting a chance to play in different tournaments, typically two-day tournaments, because ultimately when we get to the conference championships, three-day tournament over three days, 54 holes at uh, Glen Oaks this year down in Des Moines. So, you know, that's the biggest thing for us in the spring is hopefully building momentum towards playing our best golf at the end of the spring season when we have our conference championships. Good luck this spring. Thank you.